Uh, my name is Ariana Ebony Jenkins. I have tried um, mushrooms mainly. Um, I've tried acid mm -hmm. and I have tried uh, Molly. Okay. And those last two were much more recent. Mm -hmm. So it was like, yeah. This, Interesting experiences, but I think those are the only three. Oh, and like, I don't know if sassafras counts. So I was younger, I was in high school, and I had, my boyfriend at the time had two friends that would go down to the coast and they would pick cyanescents, and they would bring them back, and they were really, really super into it, and they would always have mushrooms, and one of the friends, they were all mutual friends at that point, but he, loved just giving people mushrooms for free but he made you eat them right then and there so he was one of those kinds of people like when we were at his we would always just be hanging out at their place and we weren't going anywhere anyways but he'd be like hey you can have these but you gotta have them right now you can't take them with you you know and so and to be honest i i hated eating mushrooms i hate the eating of the mushrooms like i just don't like it for some reason it just i just don't like it and so if I can have it in a tea or any other way, I would prefer. So, but I just remember trying to eat these mushrooms and it just being this like really miserable experience and just being gross. And also feeling like half the time I, nothing really happened, but I, I also feel like I really resisted. Um, I remember telling myself I have very high tolerance and I think the entire time I was just very good at resisting what was happening and didn't realize maybe how affected I was and which I started to realize later in life but yeah so but it wasn't the best it really wasn't the best it wasn't in any way like an intentional medicine way it was really just like this kind of like flippant like oh let's just eat these mushrooms because they're supposed to get you high and I'll I want to you know I don't whatever let's just get high but it was never it was never a is never done with intention you know and then yeah I just remember watching people freak out sometimes and it's like well I mean probably makes sense because we're eating these under these not that good of circumstances you know like i just yeah i remember we took a bunch of mushrooms and one time he has had mushrooms we, we ate them and then um they just like my friend was notorious for starting like drop parties with like all of a sudden 150 people show up and so we're sitting there we're high like the mushrooms are kicking in i'm just like this is great there's pizza coming and then boom we're like hit <laughs> with people and i was like I managed to keep my cool, which was the craziest thing. And I was just, I just remember being really proud of myself being like, wow, I'm really high on mushrooms and there's a bunch of people around and everything's fine. And it was, and it was good. And so that was like, that was, that was kind of, that was, oh man, it's complete, well, it a completely different journey. I, Wow. Oh my goodness. That's just, oh man. I kind of, I guess, no other way to say, basically I had, you know, I've been on, I'd been on birth control my entire essentially like menstruating life. I'd been put on birth control when I was 11 and, um, I had, and at amongst um, some other depression and anxiety medications and stuff. And I had recently gotten myself off of those things finally after so long, but I was still taking birth control. Um, my body was having issues with the pills, so I switched to an IUD and I had that in for about three years. And then I kind of decided I just wanted it out and my insurance was ending and I was like, I don't want this thing in anymore. And that was just like the thing. I was just like, I want it out of my body. I'm done, you know, I'm ready to just like be regular again and reconnect back to my cycle. And so I took it out, started to get really into like menstrual, like healing and sight and stuff and got really synced with my cycle, got really regular and was having this like really having these really crazy 
menstrual experiences, you know, and I just started to feel really drawn to the idea of doing some mushrooms again. And we went to go celebrate like a, it was like during my, it was like my, on my 29th birthday, we went to go do, uh, we went to go hang out with some friends and they're, they were, you know, doing mushrooms. That was the plan. We were like, okay, we're going to do this. And it's like, all right, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to try some of this. This is going to be, this is going to be, be this, I don't know. I just felt like it was the time. And so I am menstruating. I'm on my period and it's the new moon. And I just remember meeting this woman, this friend of a friend who's there and she makes these incredible little chocolates. I took a bite, a little tiny bite. And I just had, I just started to have this really incredible, like microdose journey with these people that I really only knew our friend, you know, we were staying there with them and it was, it was really fun because at first I was feeling kind of closed off, you know, to new people, but I was like, you know, feeling really started to feel more opened up. And I, so strange cause this woman I've never met before, we throughout the night, you know, everybody's kind of, everybody's has their blend of whatever they're having, you know, and we're all just kind of hanging out. I remember at one point we end up in the kitchen together and have like the first real like actual conversation and like we get surrounded, like flooded with this incredible presence. And she just looks me in the eye and she says, there's a soul here that wants to be born and that has chosen you as its mom and it's it's here and if you're ready it's time if you're ready and she said that within the next six months to a year i bet you're gonna have a baby and i felt we both i cannot explain the feeling it was like just this intense just flooding of energy presence just like flooding up from the ground and I felt so deeply rooted and stuck like in the earth and I just felt I just felt this like grounded oneness and it was so I was rooted into the earth to the point when I went to lift up my foot I felt and heard the roots be tugged from my feet. I felt it and I heard it. And she was there, my daughter was there. And it was just like this intimate experience that just her and I had shared with this stranger, this woman that like, I don't even know, you know, and she made these magical chocolates and she's just like, it was just, in, it's just insane. like. I didn't tell my partner or anything, you know, about, about it at the time, or it just, you know, it was just really crazy. And that night was probably like one of the most incredible nights of just like intimate bonding, like just being with people and not like this, like what you usually kind of do with like this, like cerebral tribe, like meeting of vines almost where he feels like this. <laughs> it just felt like a, such a flow and we were just being and everybody just like had, we just were all there and, and everybody's place mattered and it was all beautiful and it was, and it was phenomenal. And I just, I loved it. I loved it. And I was just like, I'm, I started to just like, was like, my mind was blown and I was kind of like, kind of hooked a little bit. Like this experience was insane. I've never had anything and like this before. And so I just really started to just be open to microdosing and more, more micro doses because I, I was, I'm not the kind of person that wants to do like a full blown trip per se. Maybe if it's like with a, like a real, I just, I'm feeling more drawn to like the microdose energy and it feels, and it feels good. And after that experience, I started to see my daughter. I started to see out of the corner of my eye, 
little, just this little tiny being running around. I remember I'm sitting on the toilet and I'm, you know, a home alone, so I'm pooping with the door open, okay? <laughs> and there, I see these little tiny hands and this little like, peeking in at me. And it's like laughing, kind of teasing me a little bit, you know, and like, I'm running away and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And I could feel, it was a daughter, I could feel that she was going to be a girl. And when we had her, I, I knew the moment, like I knew when, when it was time and we conceived like first try and she just, and it was <laughs> six months to a year after that, we got in lockdown, you know, we got, you know, COVID happened and we were in lockdown and that situation happened, you know, that experience I have, have happened in like September, October of 2019 and got pregnant in April 2020 and so it was pretty much right on time <laughs> you know we got pregnant and I first thing I did when I, I knew I got pregnant was I, I called the woman that I had that experience with and you know two two weeks after the fact I'd gotten con you know con confirmation yes I am pregnant and she's like, and I told her and I was just like, Hey, guess what? I'm pregnant. She's like, you know, what's so funny about two weeks ago. I thought about you. I thought about that experience that we had and I was wondering something and I was just like, it's exactly when she was conceived. <laughs> and you know, we don't talk much, you know, like her and I, we're not close, but we are going to always forever be bonded by this like incredible experience that we had. And she's always going to have like this incredible space in my heart, you know, and, and yeah, it just was, it was really beautiful. It was just really beautiful. And I never had any plans to be a mom, you know, like I never thought, never, I was adamant. I wasn't a good, I wasn't good enough to do that. And, um, Part of me thinks, you know, I was like, man, I never would. The fact that, you know, I have this soul that chose me, I feel like she did. And I feel like she chose me knowing my potential, knowing what I could choose, and but also in both ways. Like she knows what could happen and she also knows what could happen. And I feel like she chose me believing that I'm going to choose the higher path and that she she believes in me and that we have work to do together and that she wants to do that with me and I love her for that and I have found like a deep love for myself that I've never felt through that and how perfect she is and how she came from me that she chose me it's insane there's just no way obviously I'm not as big of a piece of shit as I thought I was you know <laughs> like I can't be if, if I made this perfect being and she sees so much in me you know, and she chose me, like, and it's like, I'm not gonna let her down and I'm not gonna let myself down. And I believe in myself too. And I just know that we're gonna do great things. And I'm just so thankful for her. And I'm just so thankful <laughs> for the experience because nobody can take that away from me, you know, what I felt and what has happened. And I just know that like, I just know, <laughs> you know, like, I just know. And so I'm just really thankful, like, for everything that happened. It's just so crazy. And then it's like, it's just crazy. Yeah. I don't know. It was, it was, it was beautiful. It was, it was lovely. And I'm just really thankful for her. And, you know, it's, it's still going. The story's still going, you know, but it's still... I, most of the time they're like really intimate it, or I um, do it by myself, mm -hmm. um, which I don't think now is much of an issue, but like before people, I feel like people were just like, what, don't take that stuff on your own. But I just felt really called to. Mm -hmm. And so, and beautiful things happen. And so like regarding my personal growth. So it was really good. I've just had so many small like 
experiences of just like even just like learning like emotional intelligence emotional regulation and things like that coping skills that i didn't learn because i spent so long medicated and not learning how to cope um, i was just medicating myself and was really just kind of a, a sleepwalking zombie like an autonomous thing and it was really bad and I just like started drinking and doing all kinds of stuff and like got to the point where it's like okay I'm getting off these medications getting not or you know I had to get my health into shape first but I was like I'm getting my health in shape getting off these medications and then find psychedelics and then like have these weird urges where it's like I'm at home and I'm like you know what I'm gonna microdose some acid which is like strange you know it's like I generally I think I probably I think I was hoping I liked my acid because it seemed like it was easier to dose out and kind of know how much you're gonna get because well I don't know if that's even the, the, the case I just kind of thought that to myself you know I was like maybe it'll be easier to to microdose in more even amounts you know I have these little tabs I just take a little tiny bite or whatever and <laughs> doing my workout I was like wait go ahead and try some of that really quick go do some acid really just just a tiny little bit it's fine go back do my workout and then it hits me it's like whoa sh oh my gosh i'm all by myself i just did acid by myself for the like first time and i'm it's hitting me really hard and fast i'm super high and i'm just like okay whoa you gotta chill out man i just remember just like i just remember finding the ability to just like oh man something i've never been able to like some to find the ability to just be like whoa it's okay just like calm down go take go step outside take some breaths and just like you just are forced to be present and it really what it feels like is like all of this stuff that i've been literally tuning out becomes deafening like all these thoughts and all this stuff that's just constantly going that i'm just like trying to just like not deal with all the day by just doing stuff or ignoring it or numbing it it's just like no it's here it's here oh my god i actually have to deal with this this sucks a little bit because like it's like, and then i just like it just becomes so clear it's like oh my god this is literally it this is it this is the stuff that i'm literally running from every single day that i'm numbing from every single day this is why i was drinking this is this is the stuff that i can't sit with that I couldn't sit with and now it, I'm sitting with and, and I'm working through it and I'm by myself and I'm high on acid and it's like this is crazy I was like wow good for me because <laughs> I feel like I just did like years of therapy in like one session of something you know because it's just like get it together girl you can do this like come on you're not gonna be that chick yeah, I, I, I just remember laughing at myself too because it's like I could hear the the 911 call. <laughs> like, I, I am, I'm high on acid, buddy, help. <laughs> it's like you're not going to be that chick that <laughs> everybody listens to the 911 call and listens and laughs at. Like the old guy who ate too much weed and it's just like, I think we're dead. We need some help. <laughs> and it's like, it's not going to be me. Just relax. <laughs> I don't know. It was funny, but yeah, it was also like. I'm actually making some real growth here, you know? Like, as funny and ridiculous as the situation is, like, I feel like I'm actually, like, doing it, you know? Like, it's cool. Like, I don't know. It, yeah, so it's, it's just an interesting, it's, it's just so interesting, all of the growth that could be had, I suppose. But, yeah, that's pretty much the extent of my experiences <laughs> those experiences actually helped me a lot when it came to like just preparing for like the birth and like preparing for pregnancy preparing for like having a child because there's a lot of growth that I needed to do from you know still still working on it you know but there was a lot of things that like I feel like it really helped me move through that just needed to be moved through and it was time and I was ready. When I got pregnant, I just was like, I'm I'm not having, I don't want any medications. I, I want to have 
this baby just I want to feel everything I want to feel everything you know and it really did actually help me so much to accomplish that because there's just so much in the way of like res learning like the resistance like that pretty much all pain is just resistance is just like resisting what is and I learned that also again <laughs> in birth and I still keep doing it but you know we'll get there yeah. eventually yeah. <laughs> I imagine oh yeah 100% um I have had some of these conversations a little bit with like my coworkers because you know they're stuck in the office with me and I tell them things and so <laughs> But we've had some really, we've had conversations and I just, I've, I've told them some of the stuff and I just like find myself like really advocating on the side of like, when it's time, it will come, you know, it will be presented to you, but how, you know, and that I recommend the use of it. And I, I want to have like a disclaimer, obviously a little bit, but part of me, I don't know, part of me just feels like even all of the bad, like the bad trips that I've had were some of the best trips that I had. It has helped me in a way that is like, in, in a way that I just think is just, it's like, I can't, it's, it's such a, such a mass amount. It's just, what's like, what's a big word? What's a word for big? <laughs> like a, like a huge, 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 like insurmountable. It's just like massive.